Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got um, a bit of a suggestion from Basil. Since I started this stream, we've come to be known by Pink Floyd at the Pulse concert. He said he's going to send me the Sorrow uh, song from this concert. So do you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it now. So we're going to do it now here live on Twitch. And we're going to see just exactly what it is. It's on for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Don't expect anything less from Pink Floyd. I don't know the song. Never heard it before in my life as far as I know. So... It's going to be a new one for me. Anyway, before we jump into this video, if you do actually like my reactions, then please consider to like and subscribe, and the links to this video will be down in the description for anyone who wants to check it out by themselves. Okay. Pink Floyd, Sorrow. Long-ass video, strap in. Let's go. <coughs> I love David Gilmour. Hi, Christy. If you're hanging around, Christy, I'll do that shotgun, shogun, trivium request. Let's continue. Don't just love David Gilmour. Christy just asked me why the early stream. So Sarah's not here, she'll be in bed and she can't berate me. <laughs> no, I'm just, what I'm doing, Christy, is I'm recording all my requests and stuff. I'm doing it on Twitch, may as well. You guys get to have a bit of entertainment and I get to record my reactions and stuff. Building the anticipation. Okay. Pink Floyd is one of them bands, even when I hear songs for the first time, I it's the guitar playing that draws me to them. These could literally sit here all night playing instrumentals and I would sit there and listen and I'd be, I'd be mesmerised by it because there's something about this band and the way they play music. I don't know what it is. I mean, they're not the greatest singers in the world. They do make good songs with weird lyrics. But the music, it's the music with this band for me. Sweet smell of great sorrow lies over the land. Blooms of smoke rise, urging to the left of sky. A man lies in dreams, in green fields and rivers. Oh. He's haunted by the memory of a 
lost paradise Is youth or a dream? We can't be precise It's changing forever To a world that's departed It's not enough, it's not enough fucking love it. I love the way he plays guitar. I love the way David Gilmore plays this guitar. He is one of my favourite guitarists. I don't even know a lot about the whole band, but everything I've heard from this guy has been so... It's just... I'd call it hypnotic. It's not the fastest guitar playing. It's not the most shreddable guitar playing. But the tunes and the melody and the way it's played, the feeling that David Gilmore puts into that instrument is absolutely incredible. Colonel with fright, his knees are tremble, and given way at the night. His hand is weakened, but the moment of truth, his step is faltered. David Gilmore smiled for some reason then and looked to his mate. What's going to happen? Something going to happen? Because he went, like, something's going to happen. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for it, whatever it is. Okay. Into something. Lost the river, lost love and dedication. Silent replies, swell invitation. Flow dark and troubled, do it all in the sea. A grim intimation of what is to be. There's an unceasing wind that blows through.
Oh, this is awesome. This is like an experience more than a more than a, just a song. Do you know, there are solos that you can pause, there's solos that you shouldn't pause, and there's solos that you fucking definitely shouldn't pause, and Pink Floyd and David Gilmour come into that last bracket. You should never, ever pause a David Gilmour solo. It's called Solo Appreciation. That was awesome, mate. That was brilliant. I, I, I felt I heard shades of Comfortably Numb Solo within that plane, but that's just his style. I understand that. Some of the same licks... He's, he's thrown in there as well. But obviously that's because I know constantly known very, very well. But yeah, oh, what a great song. I don't know what it was about. <laughs> he has dust in his eyes and stuff like that. But then again, it was, he was storytelling something probably personal to him. But I mean, wow, what a performance. Do you know what? I can imagine being there, being, like I said earlier, is like an experience more than just listening to a band. It's cool. That was awesome. Anyway, if you like the videos, then please hit like and subscribe. And I shall see you on the next one. Cool, that buzzle.